let's look at this trig equation. This seems to be uh, difficult, uh, but uh, once I go over it, you'll find this is nothing but a quadratic equation. So what I'm going to do is, this is seems uh, looks like a quadratic equation if you can see if you treat tan of x or tan x as a variable. So I'm going to say let tan of x or tan x is equal to m. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about this for a while. So in place of tan x, I can write m. Now one more thing that you need to know is, see in there's the convention of writing tan squared x. Now tan squared x is nothing but tan x the whole squared. Okay, this and this are the same. You need to accept it. Okay, and that's the way. So tan x squared doesn't become tan squared x squared. Okay, this is where you can get, it can become tricky when you're not aware of a convention. So tan squared x means tan x the whole squared or tan x times tan x. If you want to write this in a different way, this means this is nothing but tan x times tan x this and this are the same. This is an equal to sign. Okay. Of this and this are the same. Okay, let me use a violet color. So in this this equation will change to four minus three m minus x m squared. I keep writing x m minus m squared is equal to zero. I don't write so can I write the next step like minus m squared minus 3m plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, I don't like this minus in front of the first term. So, the next step, I'm not doing it. I'm multiplying this with the holes with negative 1. So, I'd also multiply this with negative 1. Okay. So, the next step will become m squared plus 3m minus 4 is equal to 0. Now this is a neat quadratic equation. Even level one students can understand how to factorize this. You have to put this in brackets. Okay. So you've got m squared. You have to put an m here. Put an m here. And two numbers which adds, multiplies to give you negative 4 and adds to give. So you have, have to have a plus and a minus. Now the greater number has to come here because you want a plus here. So it's plus 4 minus 1 as so simple. So now this becomes m, if you if you set this equal to 0, you can understand that m is negative 4 or m is 1. Now we have to wake up and say, well, what's m? Okay, m is 10x. So we've got two equations now. So 10x is equal to negative 4 or 10x is equal to 1. Now, I'm not going to uh, do the law. I've done many examples on this. But now I'm going to use a calculator to work out the x's. We are working in radians. So it is between 0 and 2 pi. So you know a tan has a period of 180 degree or pi radians. So I'm going to graph this my calculator. First is. I have to see my setting whether it's in radians. So it's it, it's already in radians. That's fine. So now you go to graph and type in delete this tan x. Tan x and my it has to be I want scale from 0 to 2 pi. 0 to 2 shift pi and I want values like uh, minus 4 and 1, so I'll put the y value, y minimum as say minus 5, 2 plus 5. Oops, scale of 1 would do, and this is your tan graph, okay? So, the first part is, we're asking the question, when is tan x negative 4? That means this is your y value, we want to find the x. So, g solve and x calc when y is negative 4, okay? If the, this is an excellent question, you need to show how you get this, but you can refer my other videos. I'm a bit uh, lazy today. So one answer is 1.82. Okay, so let me 
bring my pen so one answer is x is 1.82 what's the other answer the other answer is 4.96 so here you got two answer and here again this all and let me bring this on this side uh, and I want to find x when y is 1 I think that's it 0. Point. you can see th the next answer would be here uh, at 0. 0.79 so x is yeah this is 0. 0.79 you have one more value and if you press this replay this is 3.93 3.93 all in so all of them are in two dp so this is in two decimal places this is also in two decimal places so you've got four answers so let the, let's write all the answers in an order so this is 0 0.79 1.82 1.96 mm, then you've got 3.93 and finally you've got 4.96 you've got four answers and all of them are in 2dp See you in the next